Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Every dog owner has had at least one occasion where they've come home to find something spent chewed. For some, it's their slippers. For others, it's the sideboard. For some, it's even been the whole couch or even your favorite bedtime story. That's why we checked with Tasty Bone for some insight. They have worked hard to provide the best shoes available to avoid these unfortunate destructive incidents. But which dog breeds chew more than any other? Here are a few we've come across. Number one, Labradors. Labradors are bred as retrieving dogs, so they're used to having things in their mouth. They're also a very energetic and exuberant breed, always wanting to do something and keep themselves busy. Therefore, if you have an active breed with lots of energy that's used to mouthing things that don't have anything to do in the day, there's going to be chewing involved. Strong, long-lasting chews with flavor and a variety and plenty of exercise are recommended with these top chewers. Number two, (laughs) interestingly enough, number two is the Chihuahua. It's not just the big boys who are chewers. Small dogs like Chihuahuas are just as prone to nibbling their way through your favorite shoes as bigger dogs are. That's because people often forget how much activity and attention small dogs need. Chihuahuas are prone to boredom, separation anxiety, and nervousness. This leads them to chewing objects to help alleviate this. So, if you have a Chihuahua, we recommend taking them on long walks to see if the extra exercise helps. Number three, Border Collie. Border Collies are bred to be herding dogs. This means they have large supplies of energy. It also means they're a very intelligent breed. With lots of energy and a keen intellect, Border Collies can get bored easily and become restless. And when they get bored, they start to find things to keep them busy, like finding out what the inside of the couch looks like. To keep them from destroying your furniture, we recommend having your collie take part in more creative activities like fly ball dog courses. Number four, Jack Russells. These little chewers are infamous for their destructive habits. Jack Russells have endless sources of energy and are always looking for ways to use up that energy. Sometimes it's with activities like digging. Other times it's getting their gnashers around the nearest thing they can find and ripping it to shreds. That's why you should always be sure to keep a chew near your Jack Russell and to give them a regular exercise and teach new tricks to keep their body and mind busy. Number five, Golden Retriever. One of today's most popular dog breeds, Golden Retrievers were bred to retrieve birds that had been shot by hunters, making them another breed used to having things in their mouths. This leads to retrievers mouthing things a lot, which inevitably leads to vigorous chewing if they aren't kept busy. So make sure your retriever is regularly exercised and always has a chew at hand to fulfill their mouthing needs. Number six, Beagle. Beagles love eating more than anything, whether it's edible or not. They tend to follow their noses and chew on anything they perceive to be tasty. For these adorable little chewers, we recommend a toy with treat placed inside to keep their inquisitive noses busy. 
We also recommend giving them a tasty bone infused with delicious flavors to the core to keep their taste buds satisfied all day long. Before we end the show, let's press pause for a sec. Maybe ask yourself, why did this resonate with me? What aspect of my relationship with my canine buddy could I apply this to? And what am I going to do differently this week to make my dog's training a little easier? So take time to mull it over, tuck it out with a family member or trusted friend, put some ideas down in your training journal, and then check back next week for our next episode. And as always, I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this episode. So reach out and DM me over on Instagram at First Paw Media and let's spark a conversation. Until then, keep going. You are doing great. It is time to create the relationship with your dog that you always dreamed of. Thanks for listening to Dog Works Radio. Find the show notes for this episode and all others at alaskadogworks.com. Know someone in your life who might need help with their dog's training? Be a hero and share our podcast with them. And we will see you next time. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.